Sometimes we get asked about the different types of abutments that, uh, that can be poured. Uh, there are a ton of different types of abutments, so I just wanted to talk about a, um, a stem wall type of an abutment with a footer on the bottom. So this abutment here, um, this is just a cage ready to accept the concrete. Um, you can see on the bottom, there's a, there's a large footer. Um, it goes from all the way over there, all the way over here. That's just one big footer, and on top of the footer, there's a stem that comes up, and these little wing walls that come out. You can kind of see it way over there. Um, you see all those bolts or that, that rebar sticking up out of that footer, ready to start uh, having that stem wall built on top of it. Um, these uh, footers typically are pretty sizable. Um, I don't know the measurement on this one particularly, but you can see it's pretty deep. And uh, let's, uh, let's go on top and I'll show you what it looks like inside as we're waiting to, uh, waiting to uh, pour this concrete. Um, so this is what it looks like down inside there. I know it's kind of hard to see. Um, so this is what we like to call a sofa seat abutment style up on top. So it'll have a stem wall that comes up. Um, so this is relatively thin here that comes down. But then once it reaches um, about two feet or so, uh, this part flattens out. Um, you can see where it flattens out over here, and then it'll drop down. So the, the stem wall beyond this point here will be uh, pretty sizable, maybe uh, three foot deep. Uh, up here, it's pretty narrow. So the concrete over here will be flat here, and then the bridge actually sits down. You can see those bolts um, are going to accept our bridge. Um, well, actually, this is a nice template they have over here. So you can see that's our uh, a bridge template there. So our bridge is actually going to set. Uh, this this project here calls for two rail cars side by side. So one rail car is set here. The top of rail car should be flush with the top of this right here. Um, so that way, when you drive on this concrete, you know the roadway will be way over there. They got to build all this up. Uh, the roadway will come here. Then the, this is just a little bit of concrete and then the bridge deck starts right over here and it'll go all the way out that way. Okay, so this is a, these are just the forms for um, this type of abutment and uh, whenever we do this we have to use epoxy coated rebar throughout. Um, and that's about it. Uh, this is what the, what the wing walls look like over here, right? So this is um, Maybe the lighting is better this way. So the bridge deck sits here. The bridge, the the the, the sofa back of, of this abutment sits here. Uh, no concrete goes there. It actually goes, you know, way down over here. So concrete steps up. Concrete. Um, the bridge sits across flat like that. And then we have this little wing wall coming out to retain soils. And uh, that is a pretty typical abutment. Here we have the finished abutments ready for the bridge. It's been backfilled.
You have one abutment there. The bridge is spread right across. Land over there. This is two 89 foot long rail cars, side by side obviously, over here in Chino Hills. It's actually a really pretty area in the uh, Los Angeles area, greater Los Angeles area. This is our standard GC10 guardrail. All right, um, nothing, nothing fancy, just our standard rail, right? It looks beautiful. Um, here you can see, I'll go over here in the sun, you can see we added these, um, all these stiffener plates here, um, all the way down. It's just to stiffen up that, that rail car to keep it from, from bouncing around too much. These rail cars do tend to be a little bit bouncy. Um, here in the middle, this is the seam here, so you can see here, we had these little plates here, uh, welded them on, uh, just to help block these two rail cars together. All right, let's take a walk down and check it out. Uh, here, these holes here, these are holes that we uh, used. We used those holes here to um, to wrap a strap around the rail car to lift it up so that, that there's some straps went down underneath there when we were setting the bridge in place. You can see we have some um, right over here as well. Okay. Nice little wing walls coming out this way. Looks pretty good. Now, um, this particular client, which was the state of California, they didn't want any paint at all on the bridge. So we actually sandblasted all the paint off of the rail car. And um, that's the way they wanted it. Let's take a look up under underneath here. Look at um, these angles here. See those angles we had in the field as well as part of the install. They're um, uh, those are uh, six inches uh, by six inches by uh, I believe half inch thick. All right, and we have them running at. I believe five foot on center all the way down. It's kind of dark inside there, but uh, there we go. Should be able to see them all down there. Again, that helps the bridges uh, um, deflect at the same rate. All right, let's take a look at the bearing assembly here. Okay, so um, whenever, the, uh, whenever we do this, and I think in the prior videos you saw that we had the rubber pad and the, neo, uh, and the steel plate sitting on top of the concrete and then we just set the rail car uh, on here so all this so this is part of the rail car here um, so when we when we set the bridge on, on this steel plate all we have to do is weld here and so that 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 locks the bridge to the to the steel plate and the steel plate is bolted down um, you can see there's actually slots those are slotted holes not just uh, not just straight holes, but they're slotted. Um, so that's how we connect the bridge to the abutment there. Uh, this particular one, this is kind of a little different design uh, because we went so far back on this uh, clear span that there's actually a total of eight bolts on this. So that's a uh, so 
So that's a little bit different having eight bolts there. All right, turned out pretty nice. All right, I suppose we can take a walk underneath. There's the, uh, so that, uh, that wall goes way down and then there's a, a footer on the bottom. It, it's pretty deep. Turned out pretty nice. Let's take a look at these bearing plates as well. So that, that part here that we cut out, that's part of the end sill. See that? Nice and flat. All the way down, bolts are in place, and everything is welded there. And the last bearing plate. All right. That's it. Thank you. 